Good day grade 12s, my name is Viola from the Distinction Bound Student and I'd like to welcome you to lesson 38 from the Distinction Bound Student textbook written by Cardin Madzokir. As usual we start by revising homework activity 33 given in the previous lesson. Question 1. Define the term balance of payment, 2 marks, the balance of payment is a systematic record of a country's transactions with the rest of the world. Question 2. Which component of the current account refers to income derived from the sale of tangible goods and include raw materials as well as intermediate and final goods? 2 marks, merchandise exports. Question 3. Gifts from Australia are recorded on which component of the current account? 2 marks, current transfers. That's it for our homework. Let us dive into the lesson. In lesson 38 we will look at the capital transfer account and the financial account. The capital account records the net change in ownership of foreign assets. It includes the reserve account, the foreign exchange market operations of a nation's central bank, along with loans and investments between the country and the rest of world, but not the future regular repayments slash dividends that the loans and investments yield, those are earnings and will be recorded in the current account. The term capital account is also used in the narrower sense that excludes central bank foreign exchange market operations, Sometimes the reserve account is classified as below the line and so not reported as part of the capital account. This amount can be either negative or positive. What is the financial account? The financial account is like the financial diary of a country. It records all the international money movements tied to investments in things like businesses, real estate, bonds, and stocks. It also keeps tabs on government-owned assets, such as foreign reserves, gold, and special drawing rights with the International Monetary Fund, IMF. Even private assets held abroad and foreign investments happening within our borders are recorded here. For example, think of a South African company that invests in a foreign business and buys a bunch of real estate overseas. All those transactions would be recorded in the financial account. Categories in the financial account. Now, let's break it down into categories. 1. Direct Investments. Direct investments involve transactions related to investments in foreign businesses and fixed properties. These are the big deals where an investor wants to gain control or have a significant say in the management of a foreign business. For instance, a South African company buying a majority stake, say, 51% or more, in a foreign tech firm falls into this category. 2. Portfolio Investments this category includes equities, ordinary shares, and debt securities, like bonds, that aren't part of direct investments. These investments are often made through stock exchanges. Investors here are mainly interested in the financial returns they can get. Think of a South African investor buying shares in a big American tech company through the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, JSE. It's all about making money. 3. Financial Derivatives Financial derivatives are like financial instruments linked to specific things like assets or market indicators. They let you trade specific financial risks in the market. These transactions are treated separately, and they don't involve lending money or earning interest. For instance, think of options or futures contracts that derive their value from the price of something else, like gold or a stock index. 4. Other investments slash residual category. This is a bit of a catch-all category for transactions that don't fit into the previous ones. It includes things like trade credits, money owed between businesses, loans, currency exchanges, and deposits. So, if a South African bank loans money to a foreign business, it's an example of this other investments category. 5. Unrecorded Transactions Now, here's the tricky part. When we record transactions in the balance of payments, BOP, which includes the financial account, everything should balance out. The total of all the credits, money coming in, should equal the total of all the debits, money going out. But sometimes, it doesn't. That's where unrecorded transactions come in. They help make sure the BOP actually balances. It's like the missing puzzle piece that completes the picture. These unrecorded transactions can also account for errors and omissions in the records. So, there you have it, folks. The financial account is a crucial part of understanding a country's economic interactions with the rest of the world, and it's something that's closely watched in South Africa and around the globe. Here is a scenario that can help you understand even more, scenario, South African business expansion. Imagine you're the owner of a successful South African tech company called TechSavvy SA. Your business has been booming, and you've decided it's time to expand your operations beyond the borders of South Africa. 
let's explore how your international business moves would be recorded in the financial account. Scenario Details Expanding to Nigeria, Tech Savvy SA decides to expand its operations to Nigeria, another African country with a rapidly growing tech industry. Investment in Nigerian tech startups, in Nigeria, you invest in several tech startups, becoming a majority shareholder in some. These investments give you significant control over these businesses. Stock market investments, alongside your Nigerian business ventures, you decide to invest in the Nigerian stock market. You purchase shares in some well-established Nigerian tech companies. Financial derivatives, to manage risks associated with currency fluctuations, you also engage in financial derivatives transactions tied to the Nigerian Naira, NGN, exchange rate. Loan from a South African bank, to finance your expansion into Nigeria, Tech Savvy SA takes out a substantial loan from a South African bank. Foreign reserves, as part of your international business strategy, you maintain a significant amount of foreign reserves in US dollars, USD, and euros, euro. Now, let's break down how each of these actions would be recorded in the financial account. 1. Expanding to Nigeria. Question. How would Tech Savvy SA's decision to expand its operations to Nigeria be recorded in the financial account? Answer. Tech Savvy SA's expansion into Nigeria would be recorded as a direct investment. This is because it involves substantial investments in foreign businesses, the Nigerian startups, and fixed properties, like office space in Nigeria. 2. Investment in Nigerian Tech Startups Question. How would Tech Savvy SA's investments in Nigerian tech startups be classified in the financial account? Answer. These investments would also be recorded as direct investments. Tech Savvy SA's significant ownership stake in these Nigerian startups means it's taking on an active role in their management. 3. Stock Market Investments Question. What category in the financial account would Tech Savvy SA's investments in the Nigerian stock market fall into? Answer. These investments would fall under the Portfolio Investments category. Tech Savvy SA is mainly interested in the financial returns from these investments and isn't looking to control the companies in which it's buying shares. 4. Financial Derivatives Question. How would the financial derivatives transactions related to currency exchange rates be documented in the financial account? Answer. These transactions would be recorded as financial derivatives. They're separate from the direct or portfolio investments because they're specifically tied to the Nigerian Naira's exchange rate and are used for managing currency risk. 5. Loan from a South African Bank Question. In which category of the financial account would the loan taken by Tech Savvy SA from a South African bank be recorded? Answer. This loan would be categorized as an other investment in the financial account. It's essentially a financial transaction between Tech Savvy SA and the South African bank. 6. Foreign Reserves Question. How would Tech Savvy SA's holdings of foreign reserves in US dollars and euros be documented in the financial account? Answer. These foreign reserves would be recorded as other investments in the financial account. They're assets held by Tech Savvy SA in foreign currencies and would be classified as part of its international financial activities. Understanding how these actions are recorded in the financial account helps Tech Savvy SA keep track of its international financial dealings and ensures that the balance of payments stays balanced. As usual we conclude with Homework Activity 34 on page 71, 1. Determine where the following transactions will be recorded. 1.1, a grant by a foreign NGO for a housing project in SA. 2 marks. 1.2, Zimbabwean citizen buys shares on the JSE. 2 marks. 1.3, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway, American company, purchases a substantial share of Royal Schools for our 5 billion. 2 marks. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound Student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, Complete and No Answers versions. Complete versions have answers and no answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.